What's up? It's Dark Souls. Last time I was absolutely destroyed by giant Ornstein. <laughs> Why are you always staring at me so large? So we're gonna... This entire episode is basically just gonna be me trying to get past those two. Um, I was looking at my soul level, and I think I might be a little bit under-leveled for this. But, at the same time, if I am, I don't think it's by much. Because I'm not making that many souls when I take things down. That table had it coming. While I was editing the last episode, we're just gonna get moving here while I talk about this. Um, in the last episode, I, I noticed that there was a few things I could have done differently against Ornstein. Now, going back into the fight, I'm really hoping to not have to worry about Ornstein that much because, like I said in the last episode, I much prefer giant sloth than giant Ornstein. So actually I actually want to take Ornstein down first. But if we end up with giant Ornstein instead, then there's some things I, I can try. How successful I'll be at trying those new strategies. I guess we'll see. Well, maybe we'll see. But... Yeah. There's nothing to do but to keep trying, so... I guess that's just what we're gonna have to do. There is one problem though that I just realized. Solaris Summon Sign is over there. Which means I have to fight these giants. This is what stealth mode sounds like. Oh. That's... that's a problem. I fully expected him to take more damage than that. Dang it, he's already aggroed. I'm not gonna make him fight him alone, but I do want the high ground. And they're both aggroed. It's not... not great. He's like... just a little bit of health left. I thought I was far away enough. Can't say that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping he dropped his spear. Solaire. You destroyed him all on your own. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. Am I going back in there with exactly as many flasks as I had last time? <sighs> Alright, here we go. Ornstein is gonna charge at me instantly. Yep. <sighs> Oops, I hit R1 thinking it was sprint. I tried to dodge past him. Where's Ornstein? Go away, Smoth. Go away. Oh, Smoth is attacking. I should have healed there. That would have been the smart thing to do. Getting hooked on the wall. Anyone ever tell you you're really scary? I mean, 
Is that still there dying? No, it's still alive. Ouch. Spear fight. Ow. His hits harder. Shield. Ooh. All right. Slayer, dude. Why are you so low on health? I skipped this last time. I didn't mean to. I it just did it on its own. What? Okay. I could have sworn that created it an area of effect. Okay. Just chill. Does he move forward when he does that? Slayer. Dude. Why are you always dead when I need you? Alright, just breathe. Take your time. I whiffed. I mean, he's only the size of a barn. I'm not sure how I whiffed. What? I just got hurt by something invisible. My flasks suck. I mean, he's just gonna destroy the pillar, but unless he can't. Wait a minute. He can't destroy the the base. Oh, I thought that was a follow-up. Gonna stop with him. It's as bad as the Raytheon walking forward in Monster Hunter. By him walking forward is an attack. Move buffering. I like I framed that, but I also got hooked by it. That was weird. <laughs> This is charge move. I need to close the distance. Oh, come on. There we go. Goodness. <sighs> mm. 
My heart is pounding. <laughs> Take a breather. I'm completely out of flasks. Those two are my hardest boss fight in the vanilla game. Gwyn is up there with them, but only having to deal with one Gwyn versus both of them and then a second phase, it's just... That's a rough run. A, a rough one, rather. I need more health. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that. Four level ups from one boss fight. I was definitely under leveled. <laughs> For my liking, anyways. Alright. Time for everybody's favorite character. For all the wrong reasons. <laughs> Hi. Thou hast journeyed far. Yes, I have. Come much chosen undead. Come hither, child. I don't I don't wanna. Oh chosen undead. Just give me the bowl. Thanks. Ancient Tupperware. It's great. And beseech you. Succeed Lord Queen and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end in this eternal twilight and avert further undead sacrifices. Yeah. Alright. If I link the fire, it'll just be never-ending sacrifices, so I think now is a good time to level with you all on two things. Number one, why, why am I going this way? Why did I do um, Ornstein and Smoth before trying to go down through the um, Tomb of the Giants, or rather to the Tomb of the Giants? to get the Rite of Kindling to have more Estus Flasks wherever I go, since I clearly don't have a problem grinding out for humanity to kindle the bonfires with. Uh, the, honestly, it's just for one, re one reason. Trying to get back up through the tomb without warp is a absolute pain in the butt. So... As you notice, that message popped up on screen when I got the ancient Tupperware. It allows me to warp between bonfires. And that's going to make getting out of the tomb a lot easier. So now the next step is to go down and get the Rite of Kindling. And that'll help a lot with other boss fights. The other thing is... I don't kindle the fire. I always do the dark ending, because I'm not going to get into the lore of Dark Souls here, but the dark ending is actually the good one, or at least the better option of the two. I'm not going to get into all the lore behind that, but yeah. So we also have to go and fight the four kings. I'm actually going to go back to Firelink so I don't forget where I am when I return. Alright, we're back at Firelink, and we'll be going that way next, and defeat Pinwheel, most useless boss in the whole game, but anyway. But that's for next time, so if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Please share it, if you will. If not, that's cool, but it really helps my channel reach further. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If you want to see more of this, check out my channel. I do lots of things. I'm sure there's something else there you'll also like. 
and uh, most of all, just have a good day. And thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, see ya.